Hi, I'm Bob Hot Rod Roar with Kalefi, and I want to talk a little bit about air vents today. Kalefi's um, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, manufacturer in the world of air vents, and as a result of that, we've done a lot of engineering, a lot of design, and we have a very wide range of air vents, and they're all built for a specific purpose. But first of all, let's talk about air in general. Why is air a problem in the system? Well, air, as you know, is an insulator. So if we get air trapped up in boiler heat exchangers or we get it up into our uh, baseboard heaters, we get it up into our air handlers, it's going to impede the flow of the energy transfer. We want to have water touching all the surfaces, be it a hydronic system or a chilled water system. The key is to get the air out of the system. So as a result, there's different places that air um, traps in a system, and we have a device to remove that air regardless of where it is in the system. So I'm going to start out with some basic air manual vents, and I'm going to move through the different types of automatic vents, and then we'll do another session that's going to be on air separator, the central separator. But it's a lot to cover here, so we're going to break it into these um, different components here. So I'm going to start out with the most basic part that we, um, that we offer for um, air elimination. This is the manual vent. Now this would typically be found on a, um, on a radiator, like a cast iron radiator, if you're familiar with those, would have some sort of a little manual air vent. And the way this is, I mean it's just the valve is all this is here, but it's a pretty looking valve, of course. It's made by Clef. It's beautiful. But the way this works is uh, you just manually open this. And typically an installer will take a, um, maybe a little coffee cup or something along with them, or a sponge or something to put under this because it's going to discharge out of here. This one happens to be available in a quarter inch NPT. That's a pipe thread, so it'll screw into most um, cast iron raiders will have a tapping for that. Um, you could use this on boilers. A lot of boiler heat exchangers will have um, a high spot where the manifolds all come together, where all the tubes come together, and they'll use a manual vent like this. But we make it, we dress it up so it can be used um, in, you know, in your living room, on a radiator in your living room, because it's a good looking valve. It's a nice performing valve, it's a workhorse of the industry. There's our manual um, quarter inch. We take that a step further in this little valve here, and this is a hygroscopic vent. And what this vent can do, it can be used as a manual or an automatic vent. If you can see the cap on that, it tells you if you turn it in one position, it's a manual vent and it's going to work just like the vent I explained where you put a little rag or a sponge or something under it and it's going to uh, purge the air out and shut it off when the water comes out. And if you turn it the other direction, it becomes an automatic vent. And what, the way it works, it has some little fiber discs in there, and I'm going to do a little demo here in a second. And it, um, when the air comes, the air can come through the fiber disc, but then when the water hits those discs, they immediately swell up and they shut off the flow, so it can be used as a manual, automatic, and this is um, a nice little problem solver vent. You can put this up uh, if you have an air handler in your ceiling above a finished ceiling and you're worried about um, that leaking out a typical air vent. This one's going to work um, with the hydroscopic disc. It's going to respond quickly and it's going to give you another level of protection there. What I like about this, again, this can be used um, on a radiator because it's chrome plated and it's got a nice um, plastic uh, knob on it. But the other thing we did that's really unique on this little one is we put a little check valve in there. If you can see that down inside there, there's a ball check. So if ever you have to remove this to service it, you get a speck of dirt or something in there, there's a little check valve in there that allows you to um, remove it and replace it or service that. That one happens to be an eighth inch NPT. Again, that's a very common thread on small radiators and uh, air handlers. A lot of boilers will use this too. Another place I've seen this vent used is on um, radiant manifolds. They'll use it right on the end of the manifold, on the supply and return manifold. Uh, it takes a little bit less room than a bigger flow type vent, so it's a nice little um, vent to use in that application. Since we've talked about hydroscopic, this is a good place to do my little demo here, my little Mr. Wizard demo. This is what you're going to find inside that cap, and also we have another cap that you can buy separately, is these little fiber discs. And that looks like, um, if you ever remember getting a sponge in the mail, you get them in the mail and they look like a piece of cardboard and you put them in the water and they just puff up instantly. Well, that's how these little discs work inside there. So I'm going to do a little demo here as we talk and show you. There's a uh, stack of those up inside there. And when you put them in water, when the air comes through there and the water hits those discs, they swell up within a couple seconds. So I'm going to set that in the water here and give it a second, and you'll see how the, the size of that disc changes. So while that's going on, let's talk about our next series, which is a float type event. And we have a whole series of these here. Um, this is also an automatic vent, and this is a float vent, and this is typically going to be a high point vent, because if you think about it, the air in the system is going to rise up to the high points. So this type of vent has a little bit of a chamber, so it's going to trap some of that air in there, and then it's going to uh, vent it out the top cap here. And we make a bunch of different styles of these, depend on your application, different pressure uh, ratings on them. Uh, the amount of air that they can remove changes depends on the type of uh, vent that you need. I'll show you a little cutaway of what happens inside one of these. 
Sorry about the noise there. But that's uh, what it looks like under the hood of one of these float types. So you have a float in there, and the float moves a little linkage that opens and closes the little valve that releases the air. So if you have air in this vent, the float's going to sink to the bottom and allow the air to come up. When it fills with water, that float's going to just float up in there. It's similar to the way a, uh, if you look inside your toilet and you see a little ball cock in there, how the float floats up. Well, that's what's happening inside here. When the water gets into this vent, into this chamber here, it's going to cause that float to come up and it's going to shut off the mechanism here. So it's a fairly simple device, but a very effective device also. Now, another thing that we do with Kalefi is we offer for every one of our vents an optional check valve. And what's nice about this here, it's a little service valve, because someday you're going to have to replace or service an air vent. So let's make it easy for the installer, for the service technician. So this little device right here is just a check valve. So you put that into your system piping first. This one happens to be an eighth inch. And then when you screw the vent into it, it opens up that little check valve at the bottom. Simple enough, isn't it? But it's a real time saver. You're going to like that feature. So um, we offer that in all our different vent sizes. An eighth inch, we offer it for the half inch and the larger um, uh, quarter inch size also. Now we have high capacity vents, and I think the best way to demonstrate this one is show you the cutaway of our high capacity. And this one you'll see on our bigger separators that we're going to talk about in the next video. But this is a, a little bit of better um, cutaway to see what's going on in here. So down at the bottom we've got a uh, stainless steel float on this one. And it's got a little ball in there, a little weight to keep that float hanging down like that. And so the same thing that um, happens in that smaller vent you'll see happens in here is that uh, float floats up when the uh, water comes in here, the air comes out first floats it up, when the water hits that, it shuts off the mechanism up here. Another thing that Cluffy does that's really unique in the industry and it's a real um, problem solver is up here where the little valve mechanism is, that's where you've got the potential to get a speck of um, dirt or debris or Teflon tape or something that was left in the system when it was assembled. Well, we put a little strain around there so that doesn't get up into your mechanism and cause a problem there. So um, it's just another unique feature that we put into these to make them a little bit more user friendly and a little less um, of an issue. Um, it can be disassembled here, put together with a fine thread if you do need to get in there and service that or clean that out. If you get a big speck of dirt and it won't shut off again, we make it so you can service this and also if you can see on the top, the whole top of that comes off so you can get access to that on our bigger high flow capacity vents. Now another thing that Cluffy did, knowing that there's a big market right now for um, uh, solar systems, is we make a vent specifically for solar and we might be one of the only uh, manufacturers in the industry that makes the solar. And by solar, it's a high temperature vent. So all the components that we use to assemble this inside are made of higher temperature um, materials. Um, you'll notice it's a Cluffy by uh, Cluffy Solar. It'll say Cluffy Solar on it. All of our solar vents are plated, so you can tell them from a, a typical hydronic type of vent, it's going to have a higher temperature rating on it. But the same quality throughout. Um, what I like about the Cluffy vents is they're assembled with a uh, fine thread right here so you can get them apart if you want to get into that float and clean it out or um, work on that. It's a fine thread with an O-ring seal so they can be disassembled. There's some other brands on the market where they crimp these together and once you get that vent in, if it fails or needs to be cleaned out, you have to replace it. There's no way to service it. So nice um, heavy brass construction on these vents. I think that's pretty much the, um, the product range. I talked about the check valves. There's our bigger um, size check valve. That's the half inch. You can see when the, when the vent screws into that, it opens that up for um, check valve servicing. So um, one last thing I want to talk about. I told you about this uh, hydroscopic. So here's, uh, here's what has happened to that little disc as we were talking. So up inside here is a whole stack of those discs, those hydroscopic discs. It's a little cellulose fiber disc, and when the water hits them, they swell up, and when they swell up, that's what shuts it off. Well, we make this cap right there, and that cap can be bought as a separate item, and it's a great little problem solver. You can add that onto the thread of most of our vents here. So now what that's going to do for you, I'll just show you here. You take off, this is just a, a cap that you can seal it off. Put that cap on there instead, and now you've got two levels of protection. You've got the air vent that's built inside it, the little valve that I showed you in the cutaway, and the hydroscopic disc. So let's say you did get a speck of debris in this vent here, and it got in there and it held that little valve open in there. The hydroscopic disc is now going to be able to do its job. I like to use this cap on um, applications where you've got an air handler, like I said earlier, above a finished ceiling or something like that, and you really don't want that to leak ever. It's going to drip on somebody's desk and you're going to have somebody upset, so you can add that cap onto the vent for another level of protection. Move that out of the way. Another little problem solver that we make, and this is a great little um, accessory here. That little part right there is a, um, 
to check valve. And what that's intended to do, you can screw that, the same thing, it's the same thread there, it'll fit on top of any of our vents. And what that'll do is it'll let air come out, but it won't let air go in. And what can happen on systems if they're misplumbed, if somebody's put, um, for example, a high head pump and the relationship to the expansion tank is wrong, you can actually suck air into an air vent, into the cap, the same way that air expels out of it. So what this cap will do is it'll let the air come out, but if that high head pump starts and it puts a negative pressure on that cap, it won't let the air to go in. So um, again, the right way to do that is to go back and fix the, um, the problem why it's sucking air in there. But that's a nice little problem solver. If you've got a customer that says, you know, you come over here, you purge the air out, and weeks later, I've got the same problem. Keep one of these on your truck, take it out there, put it on it. If the problem goes away, you know what, um, what the issue is and you can uh, solve it with that little cap there. So, that's, um, that's touching on the product range of the automatic air vents and uh, we'll get into some of the central air separation devices and we'll talk about um, features and benefits of those in the next video.